Okay, now, oh, sorry if it was a little choppy just then. This guy, Andrew Meyer, over at Gainesville, Florida, Mark, not really for you, just you, Mark, but anyone that's listening, this guy brought it on himself, Andrew Meyer. He, uh, first, one of the first things he said was, are you arresting me? Are you arresting me? Why are you arresting me? Started talking about being arrested. All they were—they like touched him and they started to move him, and he started yelling about being arrested. That was what his mind went to. So then he brought it on himself. The whole process of being arrested, and then before they tased him, he said, "Don't tase me! Don't tase me!" Saying that to someone with a taser is going to prompt them to tase you. Saying "Don't shoot! Don't shoot!" is going to prompt someone with a gun to shoot. Don't say that word. Don't say the word tase. Don't speak. If you're in a situation where you're being grabbed, don't speak. Focus. He, this dude brought it on himself. He chose that because he wanted it to happen so people would see it maybe. Maybe it was because he wanted people to hear about his questions. The Skull and Bones Society at Yale. Uh, the first question he asked to carry was why did he concede the election, which I thought was an interesting question, but he didn't let him answer. He kept, kept going and asking these other questions. The second one was, uh, I don't know, I'll post the links over here. I, I remember it pretty clearly, but our minds aren't video cameras. That's why we invented them. Um, that being said, that this guy brought it on himself, police should treat tasers like guns. like a last resort. I could tell these police officers just didn't want to deal with it anymore, this guy yelling, so they just tased him. But honestly, we're all human beings. We shouldn't be tasing each other. We shouldn't be shooting each other or tasing each other or really even punching each other. It doesn't do much good to do that stuff. It's better to look at each other and listen to each other. Even as a police officer, if you approach someone that's aggressive, Listen to them, and they'll calm down. If you grab them, it will rile them up. If you yell at them, it will rile them up. Just listen to them, and they'll calm down. The police, the way the police are, will be very different in the future. It's a phase how they carry around weapons and use force, because the, a more effective police force could be a, that of a calming nature to pacify the people with true being. Like the Jedi in the movie. It's such a wonderful movie, Star Wars. But like the Jedi, they, they work as a elite police force that uses listening and communicating to diffuse tension-filled situations, and that's what our police force would be more effective as. Maybe let them carry around flashlights. A club, perhaps, but there's no need to use it. It can all be diffused with the words and listening to them. Listen.